Welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. Uh, I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. This is the cold open? Yeah. Okay, for this... Um, wheat whiskey. For this wheat whiskey. Adorable little bottle. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you got nothing? Hold on. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've got a gift. We got a gift. We got a gift. We got a gift. It's from Philip Pinkney. Philip Pinkney, you magnificent <laughs> So this is a wheat whiskey. So from uh, already dry I, fly distilling. I have high hopes. Cask strength. Yeah, cask strength, which wheat is whiskey. pretty rare for a craft. Because it costs you money it does. to not water something and down. I don't know if I've had cask strength wheat whiskey. No, we don't have one in the vault at all. This is it. I am. And the bottle is cool. Yeah, I like it. It's it's a bottle. It's adorable. That's oh, about, I think that's a 375. Holy right? shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Calm down. What's Dude. going on here? Hand selected. <laughs> As opposed to <laughs> machine selected like the Terminator. What is this, 2025? Okay, so it's 100% wheat whiskey. Yeah. And 60% uh, alcohol. I bet that bottle pours really well. <laughs> hint, hint, nod, nod. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. Now, this is about the size that we're going to try to release with our distillery 375s. Mm -hmm. Just so well, that on some lines, on other, some other will lines full. will be full. Uh, lines beyond that will be like just a big, um, what's it, Seven Eleven Big Gulp? <laughs> In an actual Seven Eleven Big Gulp cup. Uh, so this is three years mm -hmm. and fifty-three gallon American oak barrels with a number three char. I don't know. That's what a it, medium char. Yeah. Right. I don't know what I was expecting on the nose in terms of it being wheat whiskey. It's sort of hiding. Is it 100% wheat or is it mostly wheat? 100% wheat. 100% wheat. Okay, on the nose I'm getting something that's wildly different than a corn whiskey. I really need this to jump out of the glass more because right now it feels kind of buried in there. Yeah? Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah the glass roll thing actually worked out nicely. Look at you with things that you know how to do. <laughs> I keep you around for a reason. <laughs> that's my good looks. <laughs> Um, this uh, the the the, arc, the alcohol is very prominent. Being yeah, cast it's that's a little the, bitey. That's the front so, leading the front leading note. I'm gonna have to taste it on the nose. The alcohol is at least sixty percent of what I'm getting on the nose. I'm getting a very perfumey note. Really? Yeah. Like like the behind the alcohol. Okay. But I'm not getting any distinct notes. It's just a general air of a per dense perfume. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Peppermint. Peppermint. Uh, there's a slight clingy ting to the end of it. Sweetened pepper wood. Pepper wood is a different thing than peppermint. It is. Yeah. It is. I'm not getting mint. I'm getting, I'm getting wood. Okay. Let me go back to that. You look for mint. I'll look for the oak barrel. No, no, no. I'm looking for wood. Looking for wood. The nose hasn't changed. It's still that sort of dense, sweet, perfumey with a high alcohol bite. Dry fly. So this is two guys. Um, it's better than a wet fly, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> You're obviously not a fly fisherman. Uh, uh, fly fisherman. Don, as in Don Poffinroth and Clint Kent Fleischman. This is how I fly fish, by the way. I don't know. That may be 100% accurate. Yeah. That may, I mean, it may be spot on. I saw Legends of the Fall. Yeah, it's gonna. No, that wasn't Legends of the Fall. You're thinking of uh, a river runs through it. Screw you. Also has Brad Pitt. Oh. Wait, the Leg Legends of the Fall? He wasn't a dry fire fisherman, no. Le uh, a River Runs Through It is a movie about fly fishing, <laughs> effectively. But, so, there's a quote in that movie that reminds me of these guys, because you go to their website, yeah, and they sort of just shit all over anybody who's not making everything themselves. <laughs> and they say things like, we don't take shortcuts by doing things like sourcing whiskey or using smaller barrels. <laughs> Now, Wait a minute, there's like so many amazing there whiskeys. Are, there are a lot of craft <laughs> distilleries that are award-winning craft distilleries right. using different barrel sizes and finishes and sourcing some blends. Uh, hey. But. No, go ahead. It is. It is. It is River Runs Through It, isn't it? God damn it. Am I right? 
Continue. Yeah, it's great. It's a great movie. So the thing is, it's kind of snobby. These guys come across as a little snobby, but you can't expect anything less from a fly fisherman. <laughs> the thing is, fly fishermen are the snobs of the fishing world, right? Uh, they take everything super uh, seriously. You're not and wrong. There's a quote from uh, the word river that, runs through it. The word that springs to mind is meticulous. Yes. Which isn't a bad thing. No, it's a good thing when you're making whiskey. It's just unfortunate whenever you take that meticulousness and shit on other people because they do a different kind of thing that obviously, objectively results in amazing whiskeys that are winning awards. Yeah, I got a right. fruit note that showed up in this all of a sudden on my second round because so, I poured a little more in. At what point are we going to dip a little water in here? Uh, right now. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to do a cap full of water which will probably take this to around uh, 55 to 50%. I actually... You want water? Uh, just a very little bit. I actually um, like the whiskey. Uh, I'm not getting a tremendous amount of complexity, though. Yeah, no, no, it's... And I don't think wheat delivers a lot of complexity. It, or am I wrong? Can wheat deliver, like, a... I do not know. I'm not, I'm not really well-versed in whiskey. There's whiskeys. not a lot of wheat just, like, straight up and down. We have some we can compare it to. I have a whole section oh, of oh, whiskey. We'll do that. Um, but the quote from A River Runs Through It is... My father, the preacher, taught us, and it's a paraphrase because I can't remember the exact quote. My father taught us that all Christians are fishermen, but the apostles were fly fishermen. <laughs> or some version of that. It's like, you know, all the people who matter are fishermen of some kind. Wait a minute. But the ones who really matter are fly fishermen. <laughs> but that's the, the, the whole spirit behind it is like, yeah, everybody does a thing, but fly fishermen they're the ones who get it. Right. That spirit pervades their whiskey making too. Sure. So to each your to each your own to, to each his own, man. I mean, it's uh, and good on them because what you don't want yeah. somebody doing is phoning it in. No, you don't. No, you don't. I want somebody that is meticulous, that to the core of their being, in the marrow of their bones, they want to make the best whiskey because possible. Because it matters. But whenever that translates into and all these other. Peasants who are saucing things and doing small beers like ah man if it results in a good whiskey f Off yeah now what That's we it. don't know is in person. What is it like to drink with these guys? Oh, they could be amazing They could be great guys. And maybe their marketing translates to something. It's and a little bit too pinky in the Maybe air. they're not in charge of their web copy for our own sensibilities <laughs> But uh, the whiskey is like a pretty damn good whiskey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay with water it got 30% sweeter. It did. Instead I, of more complex. So I think mm, there. It didn't get more complex. It did get sweeter. Um, I think this was the right choice. I think cask strength really? was the right choice. I'm enjoying with a, with a little bit of water. You are? I am. Okay, let's try another wheat whiskey. Sure. Belfry. Uh, I'm a book and video editor and graphic designer. Dude, that's like. Pick one, man. That's. Yeah. <laughs> Specialize, man. Belfry, Specialize. Belfry, I hope you're not good at all three. Because us career professionals who have picked one would be really annoyed if you're amazing at all three. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Uh, my name is actually Chad. Oh. Uh, wait, say that again? His name is Chad. Belfry's been around forever. Yeah, since the beginning. And we're just now finding out. And his name is Chad. His name is Chad. Huh. And he does all these wonderful things. So, are you sure there are no extra job opportunities at the vault? Here's the thing, so Belfry. if I'm not mistaken. Here's the thing, Belfry. And our Chad. Huh. Chad, apparently you can be replaced. Shots fired! Shots fired! So, uh, I, this is another 100%. Uh, we, got, we got the wheat whiskey. I haven't opened this all the way. Okay. This is another 100% wheat whiskey. No, is that cask? Ohio soft red winter wheat. This is at 46%. 40%. This is Columbus, Ohio. So, not cask string. No. Nope. But. At 46, they probably dialed in. But I'm interested to see just how close. Yeah, they probably dialed it into what they thought was the best at 46. This is a little more candy. This is a little more oak. So, which is more candy? Oyo is candy. Now, I'm getting the peppermint on the Oyo. No, 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 it's not peppermint. I'm getting um, some uh, black licorice. Almost a rye black licorice. Okay, so the dry fly, I prefer. To the Oyo, but they're in the definitely their cousins. Yeah, they're different. They are different. They're, they're, and the fact that they, these are both 100% wheat, mm -hmm. this was very yes, good. So wheat isn't going to deliver a predictable singular 
obvious note every single time. You get variation, right. which is great. Now, when we watered this one down, it got closer to the Oyo. Okay. At cask strength, I think this it, is superior. It did get sweeter. Um, at cask strength, this is just a little bit too big and aggressive of a not super complicated whiskey. Yeah, I love you know aggressiveness. If also in that aggressiveness, I'm you know fighting to pick through what flavors are hitting me and trying to figure it out. This is you know a handful of flavors, but I get it. And you're just punching me in the damn mouth. I get it. I learned my lesson. Yeah. You don't need to. You don't need to punch me in the damn mouth anymore. This is Washington, by the way. Okay. Uh, Chris Hall, I found, uh, I found although many Japanese whiskeys are light, they have a lightness that is more like a simple chord than a single note. Although mm -hmm. I would usually drink neat, they can take a lot of dilution with water, whereas often a good light Irish whiskey will drown quickly. I have a special relationship, relationship with Yamazaki 12. A number of years back, as I was getting into whiskey, my wife did research and bought me a bottle for Christmas. What? It was cheaper back then, but yes. still quite pricey. Sometimes it is not available. A few months back, I was drinking with some old school buddies. We were talking about favorite whiskey, and I mentioned Yamazaki 12, which they yeah. hadn't tried. I stumbled to the next bar, which had about three types of whiskey available outside a few stock standards, one of which was Yamazaki 12. What? Unheard of where I live. Even better, the barman did not know what it was, and it was <laughs> <laughs> and it was not on his till. Uh, a lesson in train staff uh, training. Not on his till, so he gave it to us for the price of a cheap blend. No! <laughs> That's awesome! The whiskey gods were smiling, my friends. Yes! Uh, this Christmas, my son sourced me another bottle. Yamazaki 12 is my spirit whiskey. Yeah, so... Ooh, wait, shut your face. I like this idea. The spirit whiskey. What is your spirit whiskey? What is your spirit whiskey? In the comments. What's your spirit whiskey? What's your spirit whiskey? So here's what I love. Yeah. Is that he he narrowed something down musically with whiskey. Yeah. Which was that Yamazaki, although complex, is more like a simple chord. Yeah. Which is still multiple notes. Sure. Right. But uh, I love the idea of finding a musical structure mm -hmm. that attaches to whiskey. Mm. You know, like we named we said this is more like a one note than a complex orchestration. Mm. Right. Okay, so you're going back to the dry fly or the oyo? Uh, man, I'm doing uh, I'm doing the oyo right now. Really? That's yeah. you're gonna go out with the oyo? I'm going out with the oyo. All right, I'm going out with dry fly. Sure. Here's to fighting, stealing, <laughs> and drinking. Did you forget? If you fight, may you fight for a friend. <laughs> if you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. Feels weird, doesn't it? It really. Is. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.